What is up guys? Today I'm going to go over how you can save yourself some money if you have a gas guzzling vehicle like this beautiful 80 series Land Cruiser. Gets me anywhere from 11 to 14 miles per gallon. It's not the greatest, but I love my 80 series Land Cruiser and I don't plan on getting rid of it anytime soon. So I'm going to show you some practical tips. I'm not going to talk about how you can get more MPGs on your vehicle because that's not really practical. Rather, I'm going to talk about things that you can use today right now that will help you save some money when you're pumping fuel. So let's get started. So for my first tip, I'm going to recommend that you combine your trips. And everybody's situation is different, right? Everybody's in a different routine, in a different part of their lives. Um, some are married, some are single. Everyone is different. But I can guarantee you one thing. If you can combine your trips and reduce the amount of times that you go on the road or leave your house and then come back, you're going to save some money on gas. That's just math. It just makes sense. And one thing I would recommend that you do is to journal your activities. Do it for about a week or so and see where you can combine your trips or even think about the places that you're going to go through throughout the day, throughout the week, and then see which ones you can combine together. And what I did by doing this is I saved about $120 a month uh, just by combining my trips, not taking unnecessary trips. And it's really easy for me to do those unnecessary trips, uh, really quickly go to the store, really quickly do this, do that, because I live in a fairly small city, right? So everything's within a five to 10 minute distance for me. But what I noticed was by doing the math and actually planning everything out, um, I was spending uh, money that I really didn't need to spend. So that is one of my biggest tips. If you can save money on combining your trips, that's where you're going to notice a big savings in your day-to-day -day life. So for my next tip, this is really going to depend on your situation. But if you have another vehicle that saves you a little bit more money on gas, try to use that one a little bit more and you'll see some significant difference in the amount of money that you spend on gas so for example my wife she has a 13 corolla and so that one gives us way better gas mileage than my beautiful 80 series land cruiser and i'm not planning on ri getting rid of my land cruiser so what i'll do now is i'll use the corolla just for uh, short trips or maybe even day trips that don't necessarily require me to have my 80 series land cruiser even though i would love to take it um, i'll use that corolla and that way we save ourselves some money and you know that ends up making sense long term if you want to keep your vehicle so for my next tip this has to do with vehicle maintenance so if you have an older vehicle like my 80 series land cruiser it's very important that you maintain your vehicle um, and one of the things that a lot of people forget about is your fuel filter. It's really important to make sure that your fuel filter has been recently changed if it is an older vehicle because gunk could be getting into your engine, making it a lot less efficient. So if you change out your fuel filter, if you don't know what the history of your vehicle is, uh, doing something like that could improve your gas mileage if you're getting uh, below average gas mileage. Also making sure that your oil is changed at a regular cadence, your spark plugs have been recently changed or they are in a good condition, and then also your air filter. That also affects how much gas mileage you get. So I'm not saying it's going to improve your gas mileage from what the average is, but it will improve it overall if you are getting below average gas mileage. For the next tip, I recommend uh, checking what your fuel requirements are for your vehicle. Some people, what they like to do is they get premium fuel for their vehicle that doesn't really require premium fuel. Now, I love my 80 series Land Cruiser. It's one of the most beautiful vehicles I've ever owned, um, but I'm not going to be putting premium fuel in this thing just because it wasn't designed to use premium fuel. It'll use it, but it's just a waste of money. The engineers designed it to run off of regular fuel. And therefore, if I put premium fuel in it, it's just not going to make a huge difference. It's not going to make any difference. And I'm going to be spending more money. I'm basically going to be throwing money away. So check your owner's manual or look at your uh, gas cap and generally where your gas cap is, it'll tell you what kind of fuel you should be pumping into it. So if you don't need to, don't spend additional money on premium fuel because most likely it's not going to make a difference and you're going to be spending more money than you need to. My next tip is going to be to give yourself a weekly or bi-weekly fuel budget. And that's going to help you just kind of cut back on unnecessary trips that are done daily or weekly that you don't necessarily need to do or you can actually save some money on gas. And what I've noticed is by doing that myself, uh, instead of 
pumping all the way and filling up my tank, you know, I only spend the amount of money that I have on fuel for that week. And therefore, if I wanted to go, you know, across town to do something, it's really going to uh, make me think twice about it or combine my trips to make my money stretch a little further. So that's one thing that I've done and that I've noticed a huge amount of savings in uh, how much I spend on gas. So for my final tip, this is gonna be to use cash when pumping. And most gas stations will charge you like 10 to 12 cents per gallon if you're using a credit card or a debit card. And by simply taking out cash every month for your fuel, uh, you're gonna be saving yourself quite a bit of money there. And even though it sounds like a little bit, it ends up adding up if you have multiple vehicles. So just by having cash, you're saving yourself some money. Well, those are my tips to save you some money if you have a gas guzzling vehicle, kind of like my 80 series Land Cruiser right here. So hopefully you don't have to get rid of it. You can just learn to live and manage through this situation that we're going through together, sort of as a country uh, with these high gas prices. I generally don't make videos like this, but if you like to see videos about 80 series Land Cruisers or Land Cruisers in general, feel free to follow or subscribe. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments down below. Have a good one, guys. Also, I spent way too much money on camera gear this year. Um, so, please, please subscribe. <laughs> please. I beg you.